Today I'm going to show you a few modifications I made to my summer escapes above ground pool. This is the type of pool you'll buy at Walmart, big lots, you know, places like that. It's made by the uh, Poly Group uh, Corporation. They also make a summer waves. I don't know. They're all pretty much the same. I bought this a few years ago. It was a 16-foot diameter pool. I think now they've upgraded that to us in that price range to a 17-foot. But regardless, the 16-foot uh, the diameter and the 17-foot diameter both came with a little puck that attaches to the bottom of your filter housing. And the pump that comes, comes with it from the store is a, I think about a thousand gallon per hour pump. I went ahead and upgraded to a 1500 gallon per hour pump uh, simply because I wasn't able to get enough vacuum to clean the bottom of my pool with the, with the stock pump. Since then I've done a few other things. It used to really fatigue me when I had my discharge line going directly from the pump to the return port on the side of the pool and if I wanted to vacuum I had to disconnect that and then try to jerry-rig it into some sort of uh, hose to take it away from the pool area. So I went up to my local uh, home improvement center and this is not as complicated as it looks. I made a uh, a manifold of sorts and it was pretty easy to do I'm not a plumber anybody could do this basically I started with a, a T and from the T I ran back to the pump now to get all these things to work properly you're gonna need just some standard one and a quarter inch PVC pipe this is schedule 40 and uh, I guess you can buy a two-foot section for four or five dollars. But I went ahead and bought a ten-foot piece. What the heck, I, I'm always needing stuff like that. And so when I got ready to join my T to these little fittings, I just cut like a four-inch section of that pipe off, glued it in there, and that way I could have a threaded in on this particular coupling. And uh, that goes to the pump. I have two valves on here, ball valves. This one up here opens and closes, which allows water to either be blocked or to go to the return port on the pool. If I want to discharge the water to the trash, I no longer have to start disconnecting things. All I have to do is open this valve down here, which takes me from the T all the way out to the ditch. Again, this is just a ball valve that opens and closes. If you do something like this, I'd recommend you never have both of them shut at the same time. I'm not sure what that would do to the pump. It may not hurt it, but uh, when I use it, I always try to have at least one of the valves open, and I keep it open until I open up the other. Now there were a couple of problems in doing this. The basic setup was real simple. It was like putting tinker toys together. It's kind of fun. But uh, this connection, this union that uh, comes standard with your Summer Escapes pool is it's just a little bit different gauge. It doesn't quite match up with what you can find at your hardware store. You know, this is Schedule 40, and I looked at Schedule 80, and, and neither one of them seemed to match up with this, uh, this gray material. So I just got a pipe wrench when I went ahead to uh, put this coupling in there. It was kind of a really tight fit, and I just put some uh, thread tape on there and forced it in real good, and it's not leaking. So I figured if this ever went bad, then I would just remove this entire union and go get one that's standard, you know, an American type union and put on there. It's real simple to do. You can see the cap just unscrews on the pool. 
on the water side of it and then you can remove that entire union and uh, you may have to enlarge the hole a little bit I don't know but uh, you can just put a, a schedule 40 union in there the other problem was that uh, the diameter of this discharge hose that came with the pump fits perfectly on the pump but when I went to attach it to the nipple that was closest to what I could find it wasn't quite the nipple wasn't quite uh, big enough so I had to put a couple of wraps of just plain old black plastic tape around that put a couple of uh, uh, couple of uh, clamps on there hose clamps and she's not leaking so what would it cost I don't know you know how some people are they go to the hardware store and you're not sure what you need so you buy three or four extra things so it costs me more money than it would probably cost you if, if you had a, a plan in mind I just built this as I went didn't have any plans but I would say that these these uh, ball valves are probably 11 or 12 dollars a piece so you got like 25 bucks there you can buy a piece of pipe 10 bucks 12 bucks at the most and these fittings were probably uh, I can't remember I'm guessing they're probably two three four dollars so I guess altogether you could have 40 maybe even 50 dollars tied up in something like this but I think for fifty dollars it's well worth it I have to vacuum quite quite often speaking of vacuuming I just got the pool filled this week got everything hooked up and you see all that black stuff in there at first I thought it was dirt but then I got to looking at it it was too consistent to be just dirt so then I thought it was charcoal we're on a what well, used to be a community well out here now it's just a couple of us who live on this property I thought well maybe that's charcoal from some sort of filter but then I got in there and felt of it and it's hard and it's heavy and it's and it can be picked up with a magnet so it's some sort of iron granules don't know if it just came from some of the old pipes around this neighborhood or I, I don't know where it came from I hope it's not a bearing going bad on on a well pump or something or maybe it's just natural in the water out here in the country but that's a lot of iron so rather than uh, backing that up through my my pump on the pool I went on Amazon last night and ordered me a magnet I think it's uh, 10 or 12 picks up 10 or 12 pounds the electromagnet was like 10 bucks so I'm gonna bring my boat battery down here later this week connect it to that magnet and just uh, pick all that stuff up swing it over to a little cup unhook the battery and drop it in if all goes well that's the plan anyhow so if you're looking for a project to uh, improve your your uh, your bargain rate pool experience I suggest uh, maybe making you one of these these manifolds I just left this discharge hose the way it was uh, this is standard when you buy one of these pools it's a little too long for the way I have things hooked up but I just wanted to make sure it was going to work so I'll cut that off make it a little neater maybe depends on how bored I get anyhow hope this was helpful